Okay, so welcome back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about common uh, angles, okay, in both degrees and radians. So here we have the circle, and notice that what I did was we have zero degrees here, and so every line represents a certain angle from the, uh, from the initial side, from the initial point. So this is zero, right, just like on the rectangular coordinate system. And so all these angles measure the uh, angle, the central angle from zero, going counterclockwise. So now, if I, I marked off in degrees, right, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So every 30 degrees, right, so 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and then all the way around to 360. So one revolution. And then I also added the 45 degree angle. So we have eight, eight, uh, eight pieces. So we've got 45 degrees and then 90, and then we've got 135, and then we've got um, 180, then we got 225, 270, and 315, and then 360. Okay. So these are the common angles that we run into. Now, and radians are the blue, okay? So you can get all of these angles by doing a very simple um, calculation, the same calculation that we did before, dealing with arc length, right? Dividing the arc length uh, divided by the, <coughs> um, the radius, okay? So 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6. And notice that, again, this is pi over 6, and every multiple of 30 degrees is also a multiple of pi over 6. So this is pi over 6, this is 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3, 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2, and then so on. And then I did the same thing with the um, 45 degree angle. Well, you can find that 45 degrees is equal to pi over 4, like we did in the last video. And so then we, I just took the multiples. So this is pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4. Okay? And so these are the common ones you should know. Okay? And once you know them, work with them, it's easy to get this by memory. But what if I wanted to find a radian measure. For example, in this example here, it says find the radian measure for one-third of a full rotation. Okay, well, we know that a full rotation is circumference, right? So circumference represents a full rotation. So we want one-third of a full rotation. So that means we want one-third of what? 2 pi r. So this represents one-third of a full rotation, right? Which means if I simplify this, that gives me s, right? So because this is going to be the arc length, right? So s, in this case, gives me 2 pi r over 3 then, right? So far, so good, right? Now, how do I get the angle measure? Well, remember the angle measure is equal to s over r, which then, in this case, equals 2 pi r over 3 divided by r. Well, if I write, rewrite this as a multiplication, this gives me what? 2 pi r over 3 times 1 over r. The r's cancel, and I get my angle measure, which is 2 pi over 3 radians. And that is the radian measure for 1 third of an arc length, or excuse me, one third of a uh, full revolution. Okay, which turns out to be right here, 120 degrees, right? 
one third of 360 is 120 degrees, right? So 120 degrees is two pi over three radians. And of course, the reason why we need to know this is because there's lots of applications that deal with radians, as you'll, as you'll find out. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.